بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اول ابل اسلامیات بائے سر مکرم کی پوائنٹس ہسٹری اینڈ امپورٹنٹس آف دا ہولی قرآن ٹوڈے وی آر گیٹنگ دا رائٹ آئیڈیا اباؤٹ دا ٹاپک دا ہسٹری اینڈ امپورٹنٹس آف دا ہولی قرآن آئی ہیو گیون اے ڈیٹیل ویڈیو اپون اٹ بٹ دس ویڈیو ول ٹیل یو دا کی پوائنٹس اونلی فار دا میموائزیشن اینڈ فار گیٹنگ دا گڈ کانسیپٹ فار دا ایگزامنیشن لیکچر پارٹ ون You will also get the lecture part 2. By watching both these lectures, you will get the complete idea, the key points about this topic. The first one is Revelation. Now we are going to study what is Revelation. Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, did Tahanut meditation in Cave of Fira. It was a place where Muhammad went for a long time and pray to Almighty Allah and praise to Almighty Allah. The Holy Prophet was delivered through Jibreel, means the Holy Quran was delivered to Holy Prophet by Azza Jibreel Amin and he was the angel to Almighty Allah. He was the angel of Almighty Allah. He brought Holy Quran upon Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. First revelation in Cave of Hira on Laylatul Qadr in the month of Ramazan, 14th year of the life of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. It means the first revelation came, the place was Cave of Era, and the day was Laylatul Qadr and it was the month of Ramazan and when the first revelation came upon Holy Prophet, his age was at that time 40 years old. So it is a complete detail about the revelations, the first revelation. Confirms and correct, previous revelation. It means the last revelation or the first revelation came upon Hazrat Muhammad It confirms the previous all testaments of the Holy books from Almighty Allah. Now we are going to get the primary fact of the topic history and importance of the Holy Quran. The word Quran is derived from the Arabic word Quran, which means the reading of the man who knew not how to read. The Quran is derived from Arabic word Quran. It means to reading, means the Quran is a book for reading. Quran is the book for understanding. For those person who don't know how to get the right commandments, how to lead the life, how to spend the time which we have given in this world and we are answerable after this time and after when we get the death, we will answer all the acts which we have done in this world. So Quran means reading, especially for those who don't know how to read from this world, we drive the word Quran. The first surah as revealed, Surah Alak. The Holy Quran was revealed in parts in a span of about 23 years between 610 AD to 632 AD. It means the whole duration of the revelation and the Quran completed in 23 years of time and it started from 610 and completed at 632 AD. First revelation was on 27th of Ramazan and the last 9th Zilhaj of 10th after Hijra. The first revelation came, it was the day of Ramazan and the date was 27th and the last came, it was the day of uh, Zilhaj and the date was 9th of the Zilhaj. So it, the first and the last revelations dates. Now, 20, uh, now we are going to get that 90 or 91 surahs were revealed during the period of 12.5 years, mid 12 and half years duration. The 90 and 91 surahs were revealed when Muhammad Sallallahu settled his life at Makkah. When he was at Makkah, so these are called the Makki Surahs, nearly 90 to 91 Surahs in the Holy Book. 23 or 24 Surahs were revealed in Medina life, means when Muhammad Sallallahu migrated to Medina, then the rest of the Quran's part, 23 or 24 Surahs were revealed in Medina. So the Quran's completion in two places, in Makkah and in Medina, 90 to 91 verses in Makkah, then 23 or 24 surahs are in Medina's life. Total altogether 140 surahs in Holy Quran and 6000 ayats or from some scholars they said that 6247 ayats or verses in the Holy Quran. So this is a little bit contradiction between the scholars of the Islam. Someone says 6000 ayats or verses and the rest other says that 6247 ayahs or verses in the Holy Quran. But the total surahs number is 114 in the Holy Quran. Quran Park is also further divided into three paras. Means we have got 30 paras to study the Holy Quran. 
and it was divided as per commanded of uh, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. All arrangements of ayats and surahs with a plan permitted by Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, himself under the guidance of Almighty Allah. Means the Quran Park's arrangement that we can see nowadays the surahs, the ayahs and the um, placement of the surahs one after another. It was commanded and it was permitted by Holy Prophet by himself. And the Holy Prophet was given all such directions from Almighty Allah. So there is no doubt in and about that this book is the completely God of life and was given by Almighty Allah. Angel Jibreel was brought Quran to Holy Prophet peace be upon him in Arabic language. So the language we can see in the holy quran it is arabic it was not decided by the any human it was decided by the almighty allah and almighty allah sent quran through as a jibreel to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and it was the language arabic first surah is surah al-fatiha last surah is surah an-nas largest surah in holy quran is surah baqarah and the smallest surah in the holy quran is surah al qasr so these are the basic primary facts about the Holy Quran and it can be concluded in history and importance of the Holy Quran. Now here we have got the uh, end of the part 1 and you will get the part 2 as well. By combination of the part 1 and part 2 you will get the complete um, uh, important key points of the topic history and importance of the Holy Quran. Hope you have enjoyed and liked this uh, video. So share it and subscribe the channel. Allah Hafiz.